Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So as I kept reading more and more books, I realized that I was taking way too long in completing one book. And that was because of this whole idea of me highlighting and taking notes along the way. And that all added up and took a long time. So one day just out of curiosity, I went online to look how many books people read per year or per month. And what I found out is that people read one book per week or even in some extreme cases, people read one book per day. And I was like, what? How do people do that? Like. If it's a fiction book, then I mean it makes sense because the whole idea behind reading a fiction book is that you want to get to the end of it and finish so that you know what happens at the end, you're in suspense, like with most fiction books, right? It's like a movie. Once you start the movie, you don't want to stand up before finishing it. So, but what I saw is that people read self-development non-fiction books in the same amount and that is why in this video I want to share my thoughts on why reading more might not be the best idea, but actually reading less might be even better than that. So if that sounds interesting, then let's get started with the first point, which is this is not a competition. You can't read a book within 24 hours and claim that you learned everything that the book taught, and you're not competing with anyone. See, if someone is faster than you at reading, then maybe they'll be able to finish a book within a week. And that doesn't mean that you have to do the same. The same way I went online and I looked at people who were able to finish a book in a day, a week. I didn't push myself to do the same and challenge myself to do the same and finish a book within a week. But rather here I am recording this video just to share my thoughts on why reading less might actually be better. The second point on the list is that you get bombarded with lots of information. Let me give a quick example. If I'm someone who wants to get started with meditation and I have no idea about what meditation is all about, so what I do is that I go in a store and I pick up like 20 books on meditation and I read all of them at once. What happens is that my brain is now confused because all those 20 books are teaching, teaching me 20 different ways of meditating and now I'm confused on which one is the best way of meditating. As compared to if I just read one book out of the bunch and I tried to implement and perfect my implementation on meditation, I think I would be in a much better state than if I just read 20 books straight away and then being confused at the end of the day. Because what happens in most cases when my goal is just to read more and more books is that I'm just feeding my brain with a lot of knowledge but I'm never applying that knowledge anywhere. Looking at our previous example, let's say I want to learn something about meditation and if I read 100 books on meditation, that doesn't necessarily mean that I've learned meditation because I've just read the information, I just have that information in my head. But I haven't actually went ahead and implemented those strategies that I've learned from the books to apply in meditating and learning what meditation is all about. That will only happen when I practice more and more of meditation. And there is no way I read one book per day and be able to internalize everything that the book has to offer. Like let alone applying the knowledge in my day-to-day -day life because that needs you to first understand the concept fully and that's when you'll be able to apply that knowledge, right? But just being able to grasp everything that the book has to offer it's it's like nearly impossible unless you're a superhuman so now a question that you might ask is that how many books should a person read in a given amount of time and the answer is that it could be one or it could be 50. the number depends on you it just depends on if you're able to read a book and be able to learn everything that the book has to offer and also be able to apply those things that you have learned in your life because the thing is that each book contains a lot of information, as I said previously. Like, let me just give you an example of this book called Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. And this book talks about how to find inner happiness and purpose and everything you need to know on how to live a happy, fulfilling life, which we all want, right? So if someone reads that book and grasps everything that it has to offer and actually applies it in their own lives, then I don't think that person needs any other book that has a similar concept because he'll have what he needs from at least from what that book has to offer so i am that person who will take time reading a book enjoy it and understand what the book has to say and even apply those things in my own life rather than just reading a book every day or every week and just basically completing one book just to grab the next one i hope you're seeing what i'm trying to say because this whole purpose behind reading a book is so that it can be applied in your own life so I don't think you should rush through it, but rather I think you should let it settle in your own mind and your life. So yes, that's all I wanted to share in this video. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see similar content in the future.